Hello to everyone. Okay, first I'm choosing background for my slide. I'm using brightness about 50%. After that, I'm inserting shape circle. No outline, color. Then I'm duplicating this shape, Control plus D. A larger than first one. Then I'm sending it backward. I'm selecting that shape, format shape, and I'm choosing color and transparency. And this is what I get. Then I'm uh, inserting uh, this shape. A tiny, tiny circle. Then I will insert a rectangle because I want to subtract these two. I'm selecting circle, then rectangle and subtract no outline and white color for this shape then i'm inserting icon you can find all these icons on insert icons but i have done it before to not lose time on this video then i'm inserting some text boxes with some text Then I will insert line. And I will choose a type of dash which will fit me for this slide the best. So I'm selecting this one. Then I'm inserting some text. Of course, you can write here whatever you want or whatever you need to write here. A little bit of centering then I'm selecting my circle and second circle which I duplicate you can select it by holding shift key then I duplicate it and I've got these small circles. You can duplicate these circles, select the circle, then Ctrl plus D. After this, I'm inserting a shape where I will put my icon and some text for infographics. Then I'm selecting my first circle, I'm duplicating it and I'm making it a little bit smaller. I'm putting it to my blue shape. I'm using some icons you can select icon and this circle holding the shift key 
and then you go to a line center and middle now i'm just inserting some text boxes with title and some description I'm selecting icon and circle and I'm grouping them then I'm selecting uh, title text box with title description the first blue shape and shape with circle and icon you're selecting all of it holding shift key when I select them then I group them to make one group and after that I'm just duplicating that group that's the easiest way and now you can change icons in shapes and titles and description Because I'm changing icons in every shape, after this step, I would need to group again other shapes. You will see it soon. So I'm selecting this icon and complete shape and group them. So they are now one group. And I'm just repeating that to other shapes. Then I will apply some animations to shapes so i'm selecting first shape and applying fly in animation changing effect options from left changing duration bounce and on effect options and start with previous then i'm selecting first shape and i'm just clicking on animation painter and i'm just pasting the animation on other shapes and I'm just changing delay for every shape so that's it for this video and for this slide you will see the final product soon and I hope you guys will like this video and this infographics so please don't forget to like and subscribe.